What's going on, guys? It's Jeff Farina from Jeff.tv here to unbox the Asus RTAC68U Wireless AC1900 router. As you can see, first off, it's won two awards. Reader's Choice from PC Mag and Editor's Choice from CNET. I bought mine from Newegg. I've been having some trouble with their shipping lately, but I still bought it from Newegg because they gave me this free modem with it. Uh, it's the Motorola Extreme 3.0 router. It's a great... Or, wow, modem. It's a great modem, but... I cannot use it because I am a Comcast subscriber. I use their digital voice service, so I'm stuck using their crappy modem. It is what it is. Now, as you can see, this thing's equipped with wireless 5G, 1300 plus 600, all kinds of good stuff. USB 3.0, USB 2.0. It even shows you right here on the side. So one gigabit WAN port, four gigabit LAN ports, one USB 3.0, one USB 2.0, and then all kinds of good sharing uh, internally on the network. And there you go. There's that wireless AC, 802.11ac, up to 1300 megabits per second. And it only weighs a pound, or a pound and a half, I should say. It's, it's pretty light. This thing is equipped with the stand, which I'll show you, but it has a stand with it. So, excuse the ISO noise here. We'll have a better camera shortly, but this just shows you, this chart right here shows you that this is the ultimate choice from ASUS as far as their routers go at this time. They did announce a new one at CES, but I don't feel like waiting. I've been having some problems with my current ASUS router. It's about two, two and a half years old. Keeps dropping connection randomly. These are all the ports on the side. And then here you go. This was the other big reason I decided to do this is it is faster. And I'll show you why and how in a little bit. But my new phone is AC compatible. So I will get the 1900 megabits per second. Uh, that's pretty key, and one of the key words actually that were on that little descriptive paragraph there was 4K streaming, so this just also shows you it's going to be future-proof now. So getting right into the box, uh, it's just the typical Asus. Their boxes have this weird like powder coating to them. Uh, it's actually really nice. Uh, it just makes the box, <laughs> as silly as it sounds, it makes the box feel a lot more premium uh, than what it actually is, which is really cool. I mean, it's just a cardboard box. But of course, it's a cardboard box that I can't open. My last router that I have had from Asus, I ripped it uh, when I was opening it. So I wanted to make sure I did this properly. Didn't rip it, but now I'm having trouble getting it out of the box itself. And here we go. Here is the plain white box that you all came to see. No, really. This is what you came to see. Here is the router and all of its glory. Still wrapped, but let's put that aside right now. We'll take a look at this in a second. We have on top the typical Asus, or just not typical Asus, typical support CD from any manufacturer, VIP warranty card, and then the quick start guide. Uh, for a quick start guide, it is pretty thick. I'm not really sure how quick that is, but I'm not going to use that, let's be honest. We're going to use these. Let's, let's give it to us right here. So, AC adapter. Now, the first thing I noticed with this AC adapter is it's bigger than my current Asus. I have the Black Diamond. Uh, I think it's the 66U or something like that. Great router. Smaller. Not AC compatible. But it's a bigger adapter. Now this is an Ethernet cable. I don't know if it's Cat6, Cat5. Now of course it's the gigabit age. A lot of people say you don't need Cat6. That's overkill. I don't care. I want Cat6. So I'm trying to see here if this is a Cat6 cable or if it's a Cat5e. Uh, because it's a Cat5e, frankly, I really don't think I want it. Uh, let's take a look here. So, 20, yeah, it looks like it's 26 gauge. And there it is, Cat5e. Camera's having a trouble focusing here, but... As you can see, Cat5e. Cat5e is not for me. Get that out of here. What's left are the three antennas. So, the previous router I had... I keep saying it like it's very past tense, but it's literally just sitting next to me right now. Had two antennas. They were internal. These are three. This has three. External. They, co they connect with a coax connection. You just screw them right on. Then they can adjust left, right, up, down, back, and forth. So you can point the signal in the direction you want it to be. Now getting to the router itself. Actually seeing what this thing is all about. So, ASUS router. There you go. Dual band. Now, I like that it has, right on the front there, it actually has 4321 plus internet, USB 3.0, USB 2.0, and then your 2.5 or 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz LED lights. So those all light up when those are actually in use. Wi-Fi on or off, and you have a WPS switch, which I never use WPS. I'm just not really a fan of it. 
But it's cool to be able to turn Wi-Fi on and off like that with a button. As you can see, the three antenna connectors are up there. And then coming back down here, we have the power. We have USB 2.0. We have USB 3.0. And then the internet in. Now, there was actually a power button, too, which was nice. And then we have all four of the router connections to the four hard hardwired devices you plan on using. So pretty nice router, pretty hefty, but it stands. It is bigger than my previous one. Let's just go ahead and attach one of these antennas. For display reason, you guys don't want to watch me put on all three. But let's take a look with what one looks like. So there you go. Ben's. It's flexible. And there you have it. That was the ASUS RTAC68U AC compatible wireless router. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks, everyone. All right, so one other little aspect that I wanted to show was the wire, where the wireless speeds. So keep in mind, these, these first couple are my wired PC. So here you go. Test one, test two. These were both done before the new router. And here is the new test. So my upload speed went up slightly, download went up slightly. Same thing for the second test. So it all stayed pretty much the same. For the most part, they went up a little bit. Now on my phone, this is where it really changed. So those first, I should say the second and third result you see there, are before the new router, so 40 megabits per second, 44 megabits per second, and then from there, it went up even higher once I switched over to the new router. It jumped, the the upload stayed the same, but the download jumped 10 megabits per second. Pretty substantial on a, on a cell phone, in my opinion, uh, or a tablet, or anything that is going to use AC. Again, the wired really didn't change. Uh, my Razer Blade 14 is not AC compatible. However, I can install an Intel AC card in the laptop, so I plan to do that too. I'll do a follow-up with this router, uh, maybe in a month or two, see if I've had to reboot it a lot, that sort of thing, how the speeds have been, how gaming on Xbox Live and with Steam and whatever else has been, and uh, how the phone usage continues, because with my previous router, my phone would occasionally disconnect, and it wasn't just my new phone, it was happening with the past three or four phones I've had, so uh, it was an issue, and now we have something new, so stay tuned for an update on how it's performing.